Welcome to ESF and welcome to Outdoors. So welcome to ESF Outdoors. We've caught up with Cookie here, one of the English instructors. Hello Cookie, how are you doing? Great, yeah, yeah, really good. Um, I want to explain to the, uh, the public watching this, um, how did you become an ESF skiing instructor, being an English guy? You know what, when you've got the qualifications, they will bite your hand off. ESF wants English instructors, they want international instructors. It's, although it is the Ecole de Ski Francais, the French ski school, they want everyone from all walks of life, all backgrounds and all nationalities because then they can offer everything that you'd expect from a, an international, well-reputed ski school. And, and how long have you been in Outdoors now? Seven or eight winters now. So you call this home? Oh yeah, this is more home than anywhere else. Excellent. I work elsewhere in the summer, but this is coming home every day. Give us your typical day in the life of Cookie, the ESF instructor. Tough to say really, because every day is so different. We've got our, our classic sessions, you know, morning ski schools and the groups you see skiing around the place, but actually some weeks I don't do that. Some weeks we're doing private sessions or mini group sessions or private sessions one-to-one. -one. It's It changes every single day. Yes, it's roughly nine till five, but it's not nine till five and there's nothing regular or repeated. Every session we do is slightly different, every day, every week is slightly different. This week right now is completely different to the week before, completely different to the week before. Well look, we'd like you to stay with us for the morning if that's okay. Sounds good. Um, we're going to uh, meet some of Cookie's guests this morning, um, a few people out from Great Britain skiing here, and we're going to um, watch Cookie in action, go through a lesson, and we'll be back soon to show you how he does it. Hey guys, let's go skiing. Okay, so first things first, where are you from back home? Somerset. Somerset, and you're here for how long? A week. Enjoying it? Really enjoying it, yeah. Good, good, good. So, you're with ESF, you're with, with Cookie. What made you choose ESF as a ski school? Well, our friend, didn't she? Yeah, Go we on. tried to do it on our own, didn't we? Mm. And it didn't work out. No. So we knew, knew that we needed some help. So and we then, looked online, didn't we? Yeah, and the best person that we saw was ESF, and good. Cookie was the man. Good, because he is the man. <laughs> he is the man in outdoor. Yeah. Brilliant. So you're on a beginner's lesson, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, have you ever skied before? No. no. Okay, so tell me about your feelings before you came out here. What what, what did you feel? Were you, were you nervous? Were you apprehensive? Well, we had our first like lesson with our friend, which didn't go well. And then after like a lesson with cooking, we just felt so different, didn't we? We were yeah. like just really positive afterwards. It was just a different feeling. And yeah. we were like looking forward to skiing again, whereas after the first, the first day we, we were like, no, yeah. not doing yeah. that again. Yeah, <laughs> let's, get, let's go to Cookie now. Cookie, tell me a little bit about the process of the two girls learning to ski. What have you, what have you done? We well, quite early on we had to figure out what worked and what didn't work with the ways that they were learning. We <laughs> definitely don't know our left and right. So we've, <laughs> we've been avoiding using directional terms like that. Yeah. Um, and you guys both learn in slightly different ways as well. So I've definitely yeah. been trying to hit different spots when you get the light bulb moment work for you quite early. And then there was a different thing. I had to phrase it a different way. Yeah. Or you work quite well when you were following just behind me. Whereas actually I think you work better just having a bit of feedback, a bit of coaching and then going, going to practice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, good, good. What you... Sorry, go no, on, sorry, go I think that's the good thing as well. Like Cookie, obviously, we're both very different. So I just fall vomit down and not very good at my turnings. Whereas um, Katie's really controlled and slower, <laughs> so Cookie's really good because like he's still with us both, even though like One I'm right at the yeah. bottom of the. <laughs> so this is second day with Cookie, basically. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. First day didn't count. Didn't count. No, didn't count. Did not count that, that we didn't count that. No. Someone else, friend. Yeah. yeah not good. Don't not learn good. with your friends. Stick with the ESL. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, a serious point, Cookie. The next stage for the girls. I've, we've seen you come down. It's on camera here. Um, what is your process now with the girls to get them better, better technique, etc.? We we need to get a little bit more control when we're running in a straight line to then have a nice, fluid, rounded turn. It doesn't need to be aggressive. It shouldn't be a fight. I'm trying to get you guys to control your speed through the direction you're going, rather than a big braking snowplow that you see a lot of a lot of beginners do out of 
I'm not really sure why. It feels kind of safe because you can feel the edges are doing something. So once we can get this nice controlled snowplow rather than a braking snowplow, the turns will be less energy. And then the cool thing from here is this lift then connects to the lift right next to it. The lift just next to it connects down about a kilometre down to the bottom of the other one just behind us. And then we can start lapping a small chairlift. Good. So are we ready to go up top now to a bit more skiing? Yeah! yeah. Come on guys, let's go. <laughs> Right, Cookie ESF, what's he really like? He's really patient, really lovely guy. We never knew him before and he just made us feel so welcome, so friendly, just really nice, kind guy, really helpful. Good, good. Abby? Yeah, he just made us feel at ease and like confident that we could do it. Yeah. Like, because before we were just not confident at all and afterwards we just felt like, yes, like, you know, I've got the hang of this. Yeah, without being cocky, I did fall over today because <laughs> of the bonus. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's we thank you for choosing ESF and thank you for choosing Cookies, your instructor. Thank you. No, thank you very much. <laughs> well, listen, this has been an experience with ESF in outdoors and a massive thank you to Simon Cookie, aka Cookie. Thank you. Cheers.